Hi guys, I'm Michelle Wright with the CowWhisperersCreativeCards.com and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Well, I hope you guys are ready to make this adorable rustic card with me today. I'm going to be using the wood words and the background stamp tree rings. And I'm going to show you a little trick on that. Uh, I'm going to do some embossing, so I hope you guys are ready because uh, we're going to get started. As always, in the top in the eye and below in the description of this YouTube video, you will find links back to this blog post with all the measurements and the supplies so if you'd like to purchase anything and the supply link is also in the description field as well here on YouTube so let's go ahead and set this over here and right off the bat let's go ahead and bring in our crumb cake and we're gonna do this background stamp now I've got it on my large block the background stamps this is an F like Frank. Okay, I've got some soft suede here. I'm gonna go ahead and ink this up really well. And I've got a new little trick I've been doing. I'm gonna take this cardstock, put it right on top, grab a piece of paper, and I've got a pizza roller here. If you have one of the old, heavier brayers, you can use that. That way you're getting even pressure all over everything. I bet you got one of those in your house. I'll be doing a tip video on that. So, let's go ahead and pull that up. Look at that. Isn't it awesome? Totally awesome. And you know what else I decided? I've got, I didn't do it on this one. I just put very vanilla inside. But I thought, wouldn't it be fun to just have a corner of the inside with that too? So I haven't done this, but we're going to do it now. See how it goes. Just going to... Let's see, how do I want to do that? I'm going to just do it like this. grab my paper and I will just push this around because if it's different shades that's okay oh love it all right let's set that out of the way that's the inside now we're going to do some embossing and I'm going to show you a little trick too for getting your vellum on your cards people struggle with that now i'm using our cardstock vellum thick vellum all right it's not just if you has if you struggle with vellum and embossing it's because you're not using quality vellum so i'm going to bring in my versamark first i'm going to bring in my embossing buddy i want to get all the fingerprints i can off there and we're just going to stamp them all three and go from there. So I know you won't be able to see them, but I will. So that's my farmer's market. Here's my rooster. And last but not least, my heart. Okay, and I'm using copper embossing powder. And I love this set because everything is distressed looking. So if you're thinking, oh, you missed a spot. No, it's distressed. It's supposed to look like that, actually. We'll set that aside. Let's bring in our heat tool. I'm just going to set this down. And watch the magic.
just that simple. So we're going to let that cool off for just a second. And I'm going to bring in, I've got a scrap piece of early espresso and a scrap piece of crumb cake for my layer. So while that's cooling off, let's go ahead and do those. So the largest circle is the one and a half. Okay. Then the crumb cake is one and three eighths. I didn't know if I'd have enough to get three out of that, so I was prepared and grabbed myself another scrap. So we've got that done. Okay. And last but not least, we're going to cut these embossed out of our one and a quarter inch circle. So let's just get that this thick thick uh, Vellum cardstock cuts beautifully in the punches. There we go. Okay. So let's go ahead and get these mounted up. And we're just going to use some fast fuse just to make it quick. So we're putting. Come here. We're crumb cake on early espresso. And then get ready for the tip for the vellum. If you struggle with where do I put the dots, how do I do this? Well, let me give you another little tip. Let's move that around. I was kind of off kilter there. Bring in your silicone mat, which I know most of you have a silicone mat or you grabbed a silicone mat uh, because of the uh, reverse image. So take you some Tombow glue. I've got one of our sponges I've just cut into quarters. And then, let's grab me a piece of scrap paper here though. You wanna take your sponge Let's get these out of the way. And remember, Tombow's going to dry clear. Just brush it on there. Don't need that hair in there. You don't have a lot of play time, though. So just grab one of your, have them ready. Rub it down. Next one. You will get glue on your fingers, so be prepared that it's worth it. Ooh, I about stuck that on top of the other one where I had worked before. Don't do that. Love it. And I've got one more. My farmer's market. Well, let's go over here where we know we're safe. You need to make sure you get enough on there, though. But don't worry about being able to see through it because it is going to dry clear. What another great option. If you don't have a big embossed image to hide them behind, just grab your silicone mat, some Tombow glue, and a sponge. Rub it on there, and you're good to go. All right, so we got those done. Now, let's go ahead and put this card together. I feel like I've got glue all over my fingers. So, our back, let's put our image. That black piece of fuzz was determined to stick to some glue somewhere, but no one will see it there. So, let's go ahead and put this down. And then I wanted to use, you know I absolutely love my copper trim, and look, I'm at the end. 
Good thing that that carried over. So let's get, oh, I'm going to go safe, 12 inches. It is in the new catalog, and I'm thrilled. That will be on my next order. So, you know my tip for my little faux knots. Bring it around a spritzer. Come back around, under, pull it tight. Slide it off. Go to the back. Put you some adhesive. Come back. Hold it where you want it. Stick that side down. Stick this side down. Okay. Now come over the top of, anytime you put ribbon on a card, I recommend you go over the top of it. It's just going to give you some extra staying power. We're going to put this down here. Cute, cute, cute. Bring your snips in, cut at an angle, give it a little tug. And what I love about this copper ribbon is it's it's like it stretches. So you see how I'm pulling this apart here? Kind of, isn't that awesome? Oh, I love it. All right. And then let's go ahead and put this inside in. I do love how this turned out. Yep. Cute, cute. Bringing that party inside. You can use this card just about for any type of occasion. You could write something else on the inside. You could stamp something else on the inside. Got that done. And now, let's pop these up. Get on camera here. Pretty cute card and actually pretty simple. I'm going to start with my farmer's market because I want to kind of line it up here with my bow. Let's come forward just a little bit more. All right. And then your rooster and your heart. We'll do it backwards this time. So, kind of lining that up. And I'm just making sure I have the same amount of space between these two. And there we go. How stinking cute is it? Love the rustic car. Now remember, we used tree rings and the wood words to get this made. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. As always, I've listed two more videos at the end of this one that I think you may enjoy. If you live in the United States and you're looking for an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to be your gal and sure appreciate your business. I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting.